Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe what's meant by an autoimmune disease. You should also be able to describe the effects of a named autoimmune disease. And this is for students following the OCR spec. So far in this topic, we've seen how the immune system protects against infectious disease. We've seen that both B and T lymphocytes recognize antigens on the surface of pathogens, such as bacteria and viruses. These antigens are recognized as foreign or non-self, and the immune system mounts an immune response against these non-self antigens. This can include both a humoral response involving antibodies, as well as a cell-mediated response involving cytotoxic T cells. Now, a key idea you need to understand is that your immune system is trained not to respond to molecules found on your own body cells. When B and T lymphocytes mature, they are tested against self molecules. Any B or T lymphocyte which responds to a self molecule is destroyed. And because of this, your immune system does not target molecules which are normally found as part of your body. Now, sometimes this process fails and the immune system attacks self molecules, and scientists call this autoimmunity. Type 1 diabetes is an example of an autoimmune disease. In type 1 diabetes, the immune system attacks and destroys beta cells in the pancreas. Beta cells normally produce insulin as part of the body's glucose control system. Once their beta cells are destroyed, a person with type 1 diabetes cannot control the concentration of glucose in their blood. To compensate, they need to test their blood glucose level and give themselves regular injections of insulin. Alternatively, some people with type 1 diabetes use an insulin pump, which does this automatically. This shows rheumatoid arthritis, which is also an autoimmune disease. In rheumatoid arthritis, the immune system attacks molecules found in joints. This can lead to severe pain, limited mobility and joint damage. Lupus is another example of an autoimmune disease. Lupus can affect a whole range of organs, but often affects the skin and joints. People with lupus can experience joint pain, scaly patches on their skin, and hair loss, among other symptoms. Both rheumatoid arthritis and lupus are incurable conditions. Treatment can involve using immunosuppressant drugs, which reduce the activity of the immune system. However, these drugs can reduce the body's ability to defend itself against infectious disease. Steroids can also be used to reduce the symptoms, as well as painkillers and anti-inflammatory drugs. Now, there are lots of different autoimmune diseases and their causes are not well understood. Genetics do play a role as many autoimmune diseases appear to run in families. In other cases, a person's immune system may overreact to a pathogen and start attacking the body's own tissues. It's also thought that T regulator cells may be involved in autoimmune diseases. The role of T regulator cells is to reduce the activity of the immune system. So if T regulator cells are not functioning correctly, this could trigger the immune system to attack the body's own tissues. Okay, so hopefully now you can describe autoimmune diseases. 